Hello friends, in this video we are going to learn how to create a custom field on the checkout page and uh, show save it and show into the order details page and the emails order page. Okay, so let's begin the tutorial. So first of all, we will check the checkout. So let's go to the first product. Where is my product? Products, all products. So here is the product let's view it so I'm going to add this product okay add to cart view cart check out you will see that we have a UD ID number in here okay so we are going to add this custom field first so how to add this go to, <coughs> go to the functions.php so this function basically add a new field to the checkout right so you have added the UD ID after this, we have the WooCommerce checkout process, whether the validation to check the validate. So it will check whether you have entered the UD ID or not. After this, we have a check update order meta. So we are going to, this is a custom field. So we are going to update the order. So we have update the post order with the UD ID field, right? After this, we have an action that is called WooCommerce admin order data. After billing address, we are going to show it unique identification number okay so we are showing it after this after the, in the email also we are showing the unique identification number so this is a hook of that okay so let's see on the front end is it working or not so let's go for it so here we are going to add my uh, any number so it will say this okay so rest of the fields are there place order done is it now we are going to show now we are going to the sales order dashboard sales commerce orders so we have the new order 19 seconds see we have now you can see that we have the unique identification number that i have added so it is visible here and if you uh, in the email also you can check that it is also visible here okay so this is how we can uh, add a new field on the checkout, save that field, show into the order detail page and the emails order detail page. Okay. So any of the field that you want to add, you can add it on the WooCommerce. Okay. So yeah, that's it for now. And if you have any query in that, just let me know in the comment box. And uh, you haven't subscribed, just please do subscribe, like, share and comment. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day.